Hi, I'm Dr. Smolensky, and I'm here today to explain to you what an EMG or electromyogram test is. An EMG is a test that is ordered by your primary care provider or another consulting provider and is designed to test for nerve or muscle problems. There are two components to the EMG test. The first is the nerve conduction study and the second is the EMG needle exam. The exam itself is designed to test for these problems with your nerves or your muscles and is slightly painful. However, having done the entire test on myself and done it on thousands of patients, I can tell you that the discomfort is mild at best. The first part of the EMG test is the nerve conduction study. During this portion of the study, small electrodes are hooked up to your arm or your leg and a stimulator is used to deliver small amounts of electricity to the nerves that we're testing. Typically, we will test two or three nerves in your arm or your leg. Stimulation is applied, gradually increasing the, the amount of stimulus until we see a response. As you can see on the screen, a response was obtained and this information will then be analyzed. The second part of the EMG test is the needle EMG examination. During this portion of the test, a small needle is inserted into your muscle and the impulses are analyzed. During the first part of this, the needle is gently inserted and the impulses are analyzed for spontaneous activity. During the second part of the needle EMG test, the EMG physician will analyze the impulses that your muscles generate. This can be a sign of a muscle or nerve disorder if the impulses are abnormal. The third part of the needle EMG and nerve conduction study is perhaps the most important. That is, the analysis of the data. Your EMG physician will take the data gained from the nerve conduction study and the needle EMG to formulate a diagnosis of your nerve or muscle disorder. We welcome any questions you have about the diagnosis and any other tests that may be needed. Hopefully by watching this video you've gained valuable knowledge about the EMG nerve conduction study. Again, the pain that you may experience with this test is mild, especially in comparison to the invaluable knowledge that you and your referring provider, and we will gain about your nerve or muscle disorder. Thank you.